This video is going to be over word problems for surface area and volume. Um, they're going to be old questions from um, previous OGT exams and we're going to go through each of these so you know how to um, solve word problems using surface area and volume. The first question states, Mr. Anderson has machinery on his farm that allows him to bale hay two different ways, round and square. Approximately how many square barrels contain the same amount of hay as one round barrel? So the first thing I like to do when dealing um, with problems is I like to do KDAC. What do you know, what do you need to do, and how are you going to answer it? All right. Well, first of all, what do we know? Well, we know that um, we have round and square bales, bale, bales of hay. We know that V equals BH is the formula for a square or a prism-like figure. And volume is pi r squared times the height for a cylinder. We know that because we can look on our math reference sheet to find those formulas. Okay, we also know that we need to find the volume of each shape. We need to find the volume of the round and we need to find the volume of the square. Then we need to, we also know that we need to figure out how many square barrels fit into the round barrel. So we know that this one is the biggest. Okay, and we need to figure out how many squares fit into the round. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is find the volume of each container. Okay, and then the second thing we need to do is we need to divide um, the cylinder um, by the square. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure that out. All right, we're let's start with um, the cylinder. The cylinder equals volume equals pi r squared times the height. Okay, so we know that pi is 3.14. Okay, now we need to find the radius. Remember, the radius is half the diameter. So we need to cut this line in half. The diameter is 6, so the radius has to be 3 squared times the height, which is 5 foot. So on your calculator, you need to type in 3.14 times 3 squared times 5. And you should get 141.3. Okay, now we need to find the volume of the square. Volume equals base times height. So, we need to figure out the base. Remember, the base is 3 feet by 1.5 feet by 3 feet by 1.5 feet. So our base is actually 3 feet times 1.5 feet. So we need to figure that out. So 3 times 1.5 is 4.5. So volume equals base, which is 4.5, times the height, which is 1.5. So we need to do 4.5 times 1.5, which we get 6.5. 7.5. Okay, now we need to figure out how many bales of hay, so we've done this, how many square barrels fit into the large barrels. So 141.3 divided by 6.75. So 141.3 divided by 6.75. And we get 20.5. Nine. So, it's approximately 21, 21 square bales fit into the round, or the cylinder. Let's try the, the next one. The next one says, 
Marnie wants to approximate the amount of wax needed to make a crayon. The dimensions of the crayon are shown below. About how many cubic centimeters of wax are needed to make this crayon? Well, we can see here that we have a cone up here, and we have a cylinder down here. So we first, the first thing we need to do is find the volume of each piece. Okay, and then the second thing we need to do is add them together. Okay, so, well, what do we know? Okay, we know that the cone, the cone um, formula is one-third pi r squared times the height, and we know that the cylinder formula is pi r squared times the height. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to figure out the volume of our cone. Okay, so it's one third pi r squared times the height. So we need one third times 3.14 is pi times the radius, which is right here, which is one radius squared times the height, which is three. So one third, remember use your calculator button, one third times 3.14 times one squared times three equals 3.14. Okay, now we're going to figure, this was the cone. Now let's figure out the cylinder. The cylinder is pi r squared times the height. So that's 3.14 times the radius, which is still, here's our, here's our cylinder. Okay, our radius is still 1, 1 squared, times the height, which changes to 6. So let's do that on our calculator. 3.14 times 1 squared times 6 and we get 18.84 now we need to add them together so we have 18.84 up here and we have 3.14 here so 18.84 plus 3.14 which is 21.98 centimeters cubed. So that's approximately 22 centimeters cubed. It would take that much to fill up our crayon. Let's try the last one. The last one says Madison is filling balloons with helium. When the balloon is full, they are nearly spherical in shape with a diameter of 12 inches. What is the approximate volume of each balloon? Well, again, we need to do KDAC. What do we know? What do we need to do? And how are we going to answer it? Well, what we know from our question here is that the balloons are spherical in shape and that they have a diameter of 12 inches. So we know that. And we also know that they're asking us to find the volume. So we know that the sphere, the volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So we need to find the volume of these balloons. So because we need to find the volume, we need to know pi, we need to know the radius. Well, we know pi is 3.14, and we know the, the diameter is 12 inches, but we know the radius equals half the diameter. So the diameter in half would be 6. So now we just have to plug that in. 4 over 3 times 3.14 times the radius cubed. So on your calculator, remember to do an exponent. This would be 6 caret 3. It would be 4 over 3. And remember, you have to hit your A, B slash C button times 3.14 times 6 caret 3. 
So 4 thirds times 3.14 times 6 cubed equals 904.32 inches squared. Or I'm sorry, inches cubed. So it has to be D. Hopefully this has helped you understand that just because these problems are multiple choice does not mean that you can just read the question and pick an answer. You still have to go through your KDAC, your KDAC, your what do you know, what do you need to do, and how you're going to answer it. You still have to follow those steps just as you would um, in a written response. You see that we have to do work in all three of these problems. We had to do three and four steps to get our answer. So make sure you understand that these multiple choice questions, you have to treat them just like extended response questions and do the work in the margins of your booklet. If you have any questions or you're still confused, please contact your teacher.